Hi friend, David here from Above AVL and Learn Stage Audio. And in this video, we're gonna talk about what is a digital audio snake and why do you need, why should you consider switching to one? Even if, even if you have a good analog audio snake that's working installed in your venue. Let's dive in. So if you're not familiar, especially in bigger setups, but even in smaller setups, more and more folks are moving to digital snakes versus analog for a number of really good reasons, okay? So let's talk about why. So the first thing is gonna be just the physical difference, right? I mean, take a look at these pictures of analog snakes, right? If you've ever used one of these, especially in a portable setting, you've got a lot of wires, right? You've got a lot of connectors, you've got this box at the end, and, you know, it's just a lot of things that can go wrong that can start to break down and that do break down over time and, and have issues. And, you know, if you're setting up and tearing down, these things are heavy and they're a pain in the butt to string out and they're annoying, right? And there's a whole host of other things that, you know, make them something that we used to use all the time but maybe something that's not necessary anymore. So take that thick, heavy, kind of annoying pain in the butt wire and replace it with this, right? Maybe a second for backup, right? What is this? This is a ruggedized, you know, Ethercon Cat5 type cable, okay? Just running this one simple, lightweight, easy to run cable between your console and your stage. Maybe you get one, sometimes people loom them and they've got, you know, a power and two datas in there. Awesome, but way easier. A digital stage box, and here we'll pop you a picture of one of the ones from Yamaha that we have, is really awesome because it allows you to do a couple things. Number one is it makes it so that the plugs on the back of the console effectively are extended all the way to the stage or wherever your items plug in and as close to them as possible. So what advantages does that give you? You know, obviously there's less cable mess and it's easier to run the cable to your stage. But if you're say in an installed situation, you might say, okay, like that doesn't really matter. Like I could install an analog snake and it might be, you know, just running those like through a church or whatever it might be a couple hundred bucks less than doing a digital stage box for your mixer, okay? So at which point you say, well then I might as well run the analog one, right? And because it's gonna be cheaper and it's the same thing, right? So it's actually not the same thing. So digital stage boxes um, or you know digital snakes have a couple other big advantages that really matter. And that is that, um, you know, it's gonna make it, if you set up and tear down, quicker for you to be able to do so. You can have one larger snake or even better, multiple small snake ends around different parts of your stage where you plug things in, make it a lot easier, okay? Number two is you're going to get better sound quality. Simply put, microphones running down hundreds of feet of microphone cable, there is some degradation that happens to that sound quality. And getting it effectively into the console sooner, aka at a digital stage box, instead of in the back on a plug on the back of the mixer, means that not only is there gonna be less noise in the signal, but generally there can be a discernible sound difference between having a long couple hundred feet mic cable or even just a hundred feet and having one that's relatively short plugged straight into a stage box on stage. Another great thing that can make stage boxes better for your life is if they're Dante enabled stage boxes, meaning that they're using the open uh, Dante or even the AVB stage boxes. That means that if you have items on stage that directly send networked audio, now you've got networked audio on your stage and you don't even have to go to a microphone cable to get that item into your system because you've got networking brought to the stage, you can bring those items in digitally and now it doesn't even go analog. So it's digital straight from the source, you know, backing tracks, you know, um, keyboard modelers, whatever, straight into the PA system. Anytime 
you go digital to analog to digital to analog, you'll lose quality. Okay. The longer that you can stay in one, you know, the longer you can stay digital, 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 and just come out to analog at the speaker end, the better things are going to sound. Okay. And so going to a digital snake, if you haven't considered it, can really help in a lot of ways. If you need help with it, because I know it can be confusing, our gear experts at Above AVL can always help you. Just fill out our contact form. Um, but they really are going to make it easier to maintain and keep up compared to an analog stick if you're portable lighter and simpler and easier to run. Um, you have the ability and the better sound quality from having your preamps on stage and having them remote. And sometimes it's gonna honestly come out these days to lesser cost, especially if you're hitting like middle of the road or pro grade consoles where you actually don't have many or any inputs on the back of the console. So you need a stage box anyways, might as well put it on stage. If you guys got something out of this, we appreciate you and we would love to help you next time you get anything. So head over to AboveAVL.com. We've got all sorts of audio gear, video gear, lighting gear, and subscribe here because we really do need some more people on this channel. I appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see ya.